To all lovers of peace and freedom, to all supporters of the supreme leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Webe Mazi, Inam the Kano, to all in the Igbo, I greet on a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you they watch this video. I bring you to read about the calls for Mazi Inam the Kano's release. Now we all know say Mazi Inam the Kano was kidnapped in Kenya and forcefully brought to the country Nigeria and the Federal Republic of Nigeria come plaster so many crimes against this man we will say you know to true commit when you check the matter properly you go see and say manzi inam the kanu will be the leader of the indigenous people of biafra he's only fighting for freedom of his people now even the federal government said now they commit the offense for not granting this man his freedom and granting his people the freedom that they so much deserve now before i proceed on to this matter sharply make a welcome on our back to anointed lady tv no, see now we they give Obonge and legitimate information concerning the things and things will happen for inside this our nation, Nigeria. So if you go like to the receive updates like that, make you subscribe to this channel and make you put on the notification bell so that as we they bring the news they come, then you first get the updates and you go get them sharp sharp. Now back to the cocoa of the hour, my correct people. No, see, in the Bona don't they urge the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, will be Bola Ahmed Tinibu to favorably consider the calls from various quarters for the release of the gallant leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ebi Mazi in Amikano without further delay. Now for inside the past weeks, plenty sources, as in plenty dignitaries, different people don't call for the release of Mazi in Amikano. Even the Ijo leader and chairman of the Pan Ninja Delta Forum, Ebi Chief Edwin Clark, he may not advocate for the remain streaming of the Igbo nation in Nigerian affairs 54 years after the civil war and the release of Mazi Inambikano. Also, the Association of Niger Delta Upland Communities they don't recently lent their voice to them to don't talk about the release of Mazi Inambikano, although in the Igbo, they no agree with the tune of their ultimatum. Their message now they carry in the Igbo's no support them because small violence they inside and the situation now is a call for a brotherly resolution. And that's not to tell you, see, Biafrans through through they support peace and they don't like violence. Now, just last weekend, the House of Representatives member who they represent Idiato Federal Constituency in a PDP member from Imo State, the name na Ikenga Ugochinere, he sent a letter to the media houses indicating that between 44 and 50 members from across the three major political parties, maybe APC, the All Progressive Congress, the PDP, maybe People's Democratic Party, and the Labour Party, maybe LP, all of them come together, sign a document calling for the freedom of Mazi in Amdekano, and they want the Attorney General of the Federation, maybe Latif Fagbemi, to invoke his powers under Section 174 of the Constitution to get Mazi in Amdekano released and the charges against him dropped. Now, for those country people we know they are aware of what did happen for inside the country Nigeria, those countrymen will go come outside, come the year and say, eh, why the government will just drop the case like that? That won't be the first time we, that kind of thing they happen. No, not be the first time. That kind of thing don't happen to Chief Sunday Igboho and Omoyele Sowore, and both of them be the first treason charges. Now, why a combative Mazi Inamikano case, they different. Why they no one let this man get in freedom and why they no one let the Biafrans get their freedom. Now to let you know say there is foul play here, to let you know say there is injustice here, make a yarn you another legit. No say the former president of Nigeria will be Muhammad Buhari. In be done here no say, now only the judiciary I go fit decide in Amdekano fate. Now since Mazi in Amdekano's extraordinary rendition from Kenya for inside July 2021, the Federal High Court for inside Abuja will be say a day presided over by Justice Binta Motala Inyako in the, on the 8th day of April 2022, clear 8 charges of Mazi Inamikano 15 charges. Then the Court of Appeal on the 14th day of October for inside the year 2022, can later drop all charges against the indigenous people of Biafra leader will be Mazi Inamikano and the court can order for the release and his discharge. But the federal government now being the pharaoh, can press on to the Supreme Court 
we can order for the restart of the treason trial and it can remain for inside the custody of the Department of State Services, maybe DSS. Now, to let the world know, say, this Mazi Inam the case is very delicate and the way that they handle them, that they handle them with partiality and injustice. On the 22nd day of July, for inside the year 2022, the United Nations Human Rights Working Group on Arbitrary Detention can call for Inam the Kanu's immediate and unconditional release. And they can argue, say, Inam the Kanu's extraordinary rendition from Kenya is very much illegal under international law. But the Federal Republic of Nigeria did nothing about it. As a matter of fact, they pretend as if they know the year world, they can become pharaoh for the life of Mazi Inamikano. And we know very well, say, last last, God will disappoint every pharaoh. But the truth of the matter, we say, every day by day, Mazi Inamikano is looking like a prisoner of conscience and victim of judicial persecution, even to the international community. And this in continued detention, is very much responsible for the unrest where they happen for inside the southeast region. Region will be say everybody know them before as the most peaceful for inside the country. Now the kind katakata where they happen for inside the region gonna make person they shed tears just because say their gallant leader Mazi Inam Bikano day for the detention of the Department of State Services. And I will don't give you reports on how Mazi Inam Bikano they complain bitterly of the unjust treatment where in they receive for the hands of the DSS. But now, as Mazi Inam the Kano don't offer to negotiate, he don't the year they give the government say, Oh yeah, we gonna come, bring the negotiation, come what we do. We they urge the federal government to take up this offer. And all of us go feel guests say the deal where the federal government could bring come the table. Now say make Inam the Kano renounce violence and make him commit himself to the rule of law and make him avoid any situation where we say the law go congas bring him back to court. And normally, am I correct, people? That kind of levels, you know, will make sense. But this not only guess game. We are keeping our fingers crossed. May the federal government for take up the negotiation offer. I made the federal government also heed to the advice of the chief clerk to make sure, say, from now henceforth, then build a nation where no man is oppressed, just as in the Yanam for their new national anthem. So this, my correct people, now the informate we as make a pass give all of honor. Anyhow, the cocoa be you for body or you get contribution about the matter. Feel free make it drop them inside our comment section. You know, say now we be anointed lady TV and now they bring the obonge and legitimate information concerning the things and things will happen for inside this our country, Nigeria. So if you never subscribe to this channel, make it try go subscribe and make you put on the notification bell so that as we bring the news they come, now go first get the updates and go get them sharp sharp. And I beg, make you try to share the news to your family and friends. Not a stingy with them. Make your family and friends know what they happen for inside this our country, Nigeria. I did come with another update for you, my correct people. No go anywhere.